John Adams' Letters from the Front podcast for February 1916. This podcast looks at life in World War I through the letters of John Adams, who was 23 when he joined up in September 1914. He served with the 9th Service Battalion Royal Irish Fusiliers and was involved in many significant events on the Western Front, particularly Passchendaele. These are his words, read by his grandchildren, and narrated by his great-grandchildren. This episode is quite short because there were very few letters this month. In fact, there was only one real letter. The rest were field postcards. Because in February 1916, John Adams had home leave. He would have left Menzel for two weeks home leave with 49 other officers and men of the 9th Service Battalion. And we know this thanks to the research Nick Metcalf has done. And you can check him out on either the Blackers Boys book or blackersletters.com. We don't know what John Adams did when he got home because the whole history that we have is in his letters to home. And obviously he didn't write a letter to home when he was home. But we can speculate. We can speculate that he spent a lot of time with his mother, with his brother, maybe going to see his sisters, but also spending time with friends, with people who had made contact with him out there. And how difficult it must have been coming from the war situation where you were concentrated in one spot, in one aspect of the war. To go home to people who were probably well versed in the whole story of the war, but not very deeply in any specific instance. How must it have felt to be with people who were safe at home, while knowing that in a few short days you would be back out in the trenches, in the mud, facing the enemy? My name's Mark Adams, and John Adams is my grandfather. It is hard to imagine life continuing in the trenches during World War I. From our perspective, a hundred years later, we know that there would be an end, but for men like John Adams, seeing the grim reality stretch for unending months, hope must have been scarce. One glimpse of hope was home leave. This seems to have been a luxury not everyone was able to obtain. In mid-December 1917, General Haig pointed out to the Army Council his men had had an average of two weeks home leave during the past 15 months. Other facts from mid-summer 1917 show that some 100,000 men had not had leave for 18 months and 400,000 had not had any for a year. The amount of home leave available was not controlled by any regulation, but was entirely at the discretion of the commander in charge as he alone could know what men were needed for operations at any given time. John Adams seems to have been among 50 from the 9th Service Battalion who were granted home leave on Tuesday the 15th of February 1916. Leave was usually four days, but the men with John Adams would have had two weeks, including travel. The men home from leave often arrived still with mud from the trenches clinging to their uniform and tiredness in their eyes. Some soldiers found it hard to adjust to life back at home for a few days, including being on a soft bed compared to their hard beds in the trenches. We don't know what John Adams did, but can presume he stayed with his mother and met friends and family. One interesting story from our research is of Company Sergeant Major James Scott of the 14th Royal Irish Rifles. His grandson found his diary with very little written inside it, but it had a list of 10 names and addresses from around Belfast. The addresses had ticks or crosses added beside them. It seemed that when James was granted home leave in October-November 1916, he had these addresses with the intention perhaps of visiting the next of kin of his platoon who had fallen. Even on home leave, the trenches were not that far away. Field Postcard Monday 7th February 1916 I am quite well and I'm going on well. I received your letter dated 31st of the 1st 16. Letter follows at first opportunity. Postcard, Monday 28th of February 1916, Postmark London. Postcard shows a bird's eye view of London, with the view dominated by St Paul's Cathedral's west front. Dear Mother, just a line to say that we have got back safe so far on our way back to France. I hope you are keeping well and that Jimmy got home safe from the station. It seems to have snowed a lot here of late. We leave London at 4pm and we arrived here at 7 this morning, so have quite a while to stay here. Your son, Johnny.
Thank you for listening to John Adams' Letters from the Front podcast. To find out more about John Adams and his family, visit www.johnadams.org.uk forward slash letters. And you can email us with your comments or questions at letters at johnadams.org.uk. You can also follow at J Adams Letters on Twitter. The history of the 9th Service Battalion at Royal Irish Fusiliers during World War I is taken from Blacker's Boys. Visit them at www.9thirishfusiliers.co.uk. That's with the number 9, not the letter. Podcasts will be published 100 years after the letters were written, so will be published nearly every month. This has been a Mark's Mass production. Thank you.